Hey everybody, this is Gregory from DAP University. So in this video, I have another guest on the channel. I've got John here from Reezy to talk about what they're working on. They're doing real estate on the blockchain. So welcome to the channel, John. You wanna kind of introduce yourself and uh, talk about what you're working on at Reezy? Sure, uh, good, yeah, very good to meet you. Very, very excited to be on the channel as well. Uh, yeah, so like uh, Gregory said, I'm the founder of Reezy. Uh, we automate home closing process. So what we're going for is being able to transact properties directly from your phone. You don't, you won't need anything else. So think about like documents, signing documents, um, transferring money and the property itself, the deed will be transferred. Like, uh, I guess the capability to be tra the transfer of the deed will be th uh, via the, via the phone. So, um, this should make, uh, agents, investors a lot more productive and, uh, will also bring down the transaction costs pretty substantially, uh, for, for users to, and this will also increase the accessibility to real estate uh, by lowering these fees. Uh, so yeah, that's that's you know that's what we're doing. We just launched a few months ago. Uh, did about we have we've done six deals. Uh, we've got about ten more in the pipeline right now, and yeah, just really excited to 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 be getting into this field and um, you know you know pursuing our mission. Uh, saw Gregory's video. Uh, it was really net, really cool uh, to see uh, somebody like minded who, who who's talking about the the mer uh, the, the burdens of um, blockchain and real estate and fintech. So, uh, you know, really excited to be here. Yeah, very cool. Well, I'm, I'm glad to have you on the channel. So yeah, we'll, we'll talk about some of those things. Um, yeah, so John reached out to me over email after I did a video recently about, uh, you know, how blockchain could, you know, revolutionize the real estate industry. And go check out that video if you haven't already. I've kind of laid out some of my thoughts about how I can see, you know, blockchain solving a lot of the current problems with the real estate industry, specifically in this transaction that John's talking about that happens whenever you purchase a home, right? And this real estate industry, industry can be pretty complex, but, uh, you know, I can see blockchain, you know, easing a lot of these burdens. Um, and I talked in that other video about how, you know, I see real estate trending towards more and more of an online process, a completely online process, or at least the option of being a completely mm -hmm. online process, right? And more and more industries are headed that direction. You can buy cars almost completely online these days, something like Carvana. Um, and, you know, I, I it's, it's clearly other people are thinking the same thing. And that's kind of where, where John and his uh, team has come in. So maybe, John, let's talk about kind of break down some of the specific problems, some of the specific pain points or inefficiencies that can be solved by blockchain. And maybe just, what's the simplest one that you guys are kind of going after right now? Yeah, so we started with escrow. Um, so I'll back up for one second. Um, in terms of like, I, I'm very opinionated, opinionated about blockchain. So I uh, hope sure. Uh, you know, hopefully, uh, it's just it's just one guy's opinion. But um, you know, a lot of the a lot of the value of blockchain is really in making peer-to-peer -peer transactions very easy. And um, I, that's that's what that's how we started. Actually, we started as a peer-to-peer -peer company before blockchain. We just thought it was the most efficient model. Then blockchain came along, just nicely overlaid on top of what we're doing. So um, it just streamlines that transaction very fluidly. So in terms of what we're doing, uh, we started very simply. We're using a blockchain smart contract to be an autonomous escrow agent. And today an escrow agent will do about, will perform uh, his or her work about, for about 20 to, 20 to 30 hours and to, to complete a transaction. And um, you know, they, they, do it, they do a decent job, but it's also very expensive. You're, you're paying that person, you know, probably you know, depending on who it is, like 30 to $50 an hour to do that work. And that kind of translates uh, into about a couple thousand dollars in terms of that transaction fee alone for escrow uh, for that, for the average transaction in the U S. So with blockchain, we can automate 90, 90 to 95% of that person's work. Uh, and, you know, bring the cost down of that escrow fee. You know, we'll, we'll, well, probably down to Doug dollars. Uh, sure. So this is still a little bit of theory. Um, but you know, without automation, you know, getting rid of manual work, um, it's, 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 it's the same value proposition that a lot of the traditional tech has, has uh, already achieved. Yeah, very cool. I think that's, I think that's great. You know, um, I, I could see this kind of thing being adopted yeah, on a much larger scale. And I could see, you know, more and more parts of this pipeline getting, you know, just automated completely away. Um, so tell me a little bit about, you know, the, um, kind of user experience that you are going after, like, you know, that that's sort of the, the technical solution. So how does somebody, you know, get a property on their hands and actually, uh, you know, close with you all? 
Right. Um, so it's right now, it's a little bit different from what we envision. Um, for, so right now, we, what, what we, the input to us is a signed contract between the buyer and seller. Ideally, we'd like to host that contract. Um, but most of the time right now, it's, it's, uh, we're, we're getting third party like PDFs. So it's a suboptimal um, you know, scenario. But um, yeah, so you get that data in, and then um, we use, we're actually using a lot of traditional tech to get the other things done, like the document signing, uh, money movements. But we, what we're using uh, for, from blockchain is that smart contract to tally and record, to automatically record and um, you know, keep track of the transaction as it goes through the, the life uh, of the life cycle of that, of that deal. So um, we record documents, stamp it, timestamp it with the blockchain, and we also basically it's a digital checklist. And, sure. Uh, yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that's cool. my point today. And in the future, uh, we do plan to have uh, the flexibility to introduce cryptos. Uh, so when the time comes, we can just flip a switch. But right now, that's we print that off. Okay. Sounds like right now, maybe most of the uh, use cases are somewhat uh, business to business at this point. Is that correct? Uh, a little bit, yeah. Uh, ours is actually customer facing. Um, okay. Yeah, and the, the, the what's... It's weird, like blockchain is very confusing, even for <laughs> investors, even for venture investors. Like as soon as I mentioned blockchain, it, it seems like they just go off this different line of thinking and it's, <laughs> it's actually kind of hard to get them back. So in the, almost all my conversations, um, I actually try to avoid blockchain these days because uh, it's almost a liability in terms sure. of uh, um, like investor interest at least. Uh, to, the, to the customer, that's actually just, it's totally irre irrelevant. So. They actually, sure. none of our customers actually know that they're using blockchain on the back end. Sure. Uh, it's just something, it's just our engine that, they, that, that we use and that's all they really need to know. They don't really. Yeah. Uh, I've talked about that some as well in my other videos, you know, um, especially when you're building consumer facing applications, it's like, it's the whole, it's the classic, you know, features versus benefits conversation where it's mm -hmm. like, okay, you're probably not going to sell your product to a consumer based on just these technical features that they don't even care about. They want to know the benefits. What does it do for them? You know, it's yeah. the whole sell me this pen kind of thing. <laughs> uh, you know, yeah, is that, that sounds very similar to the kinds of I've been talking about as well. Yeah, and the, how, the, how blockchain really manifests its, its value is, uh, for us, it's just in the cost and the automation. But the automation drives the cost. So it just, it's just a better tool to facilitate a peer-to-peer -peer transaction. And that's, that's uh, because of that, we can bring that $2,000, potentially down to like $200 um, you know, in the near future uh, with enough volume. So yeah, it's, very it's, cool. it's, it's something that has a, has a real impact on the wallet. Yeah, the 90% reduction in fees roughly, right? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's a so, clear benefit. <laughs> Yeah, and uh, I think you know, I think blockchain has a lot of impact on anything financially related in the transaction today. Uh, the average, the trans, the average transaction will get about fifteen percent taken off the top between third parties from the, right. from the third parties. So uh, what I what I mean by that is like realtors, uh, bro uh, mortgage brokers, uh, title, escrow, um, and a, a few other uh, um, you know other vendors. But those are the big ones, and all in that's fifteen percent. So it makes it very difficult for a buyer or seller to profit. Off of, uh, off of real estate, um, you really bank. You're really banking on the appreciation of the property, and because the market's been healthy, it's you know it's been it's been okay. But you know once once the, once we do have a recession or or, or a dip, uh, I mean th those those effects can be magnified in terms yeah, of the financial totally. returns. Mm -hmm. Yeah, hundred percent. Let's talk a little bit about you know where you all want to head with this project. You know, you mentioned introduction of cryptos and things like that. What else are you tr guys trying to do? Yeah, our primary goal is really just about making that transaction super seamless. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's gonna, that's going to be our our, our you know our, our vision that's going to set what we do, our actions. But uh, in terms of what we plan to do specifically, um, yeah, it's really about removing the removing the financial friction. So it it makes a lot of sense for us to move up into the mortgage chain down the road. So being able to offer mortgages directly from the investor without the media intermediary of a broker direct, directly to the to the buyer. So if we can employ the same automation that we've done for escrow to the mortgage origination world, I mean, you're talking about very big savings. Um, yeah. The average broker today will earn about $10,000 off the average loan. 
Um, but the buyer, buyer and seller don't typically see all of that. I mean, the buyer doesn't see all of that. It's uh, built into the interest rate. So how that savings will manifest is if we can, if we can create that efficiency, the mortgage rate that we offer through our platform should be at least half a percent lower than uh, you know, what, what someone would get at their lo local bank or mortgage brokerage. Right. So, so basically a lot, a lot more financial savings. Yeah. And, uh, and would you all have, uh, would you all be tethered to something like the prime interest rate or anything like that? Uh, it's really about the, what the end investor uh, re requires for the return. Today, that end investors, uh, really the government, Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac, who set that market, uh, mm -hmm. but they base it off of interest rates too, uh, like LIBOR. Um, so yeah, it's, it's, it is, I guess, indirectly tethered to you know, some of the floating interest rates out there like LIBOR, but, uh, but ultimately it's the, it's the decision of the end investor. Cool. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Well, yeah. It sounds like you guys have done really great work so far. You got some uh, great vision from what you can do down the road. I'm excited. Yeah. So if people want to find out, you know, more about your project, they want to use it. Uh, where can they find you all? Uh, right now we're in private beta. So you can email me or uh, our team at, or go to our webpage and reach out that way. Um, so info at reezy.com. Uh, that right. probably be the easiest way. But uh, in about one, two months, we are going to be launching this publicly. And right now we are um, live only in uh, Southern California. But uh, if we do develop some brokerage partners in uh, other states, we can service those states as well. It's just a little, we, we just have a little few more steps to overcome. Yeah, we, very cool. Awesome. Well, I'll make sure and include those links down in the description below. Um, awesome, John. Well, I really appreciate you coming on the channel today. Uh, before we wrap up here, is there anything else that you uh, want the viewers to, to know? Uh, I just I like what you're doing. Uh, I think real estate particularly is a very good application for blockchain. Um, I, there's a lot of opportunity there, and I really encourage the development that you're, you know, you're, that you're spurring on. And uh, yeah, happy to be, you know, can, can, if, if I can help, you know, happy to help if I can. In awesome. terms of industry knowledge or technical knowledge. Yeah, yeah, very cool. I appreciate that, John. Thanks for, thanks for the kind words. Awesome. Well, again, everybody, uh, go check out Reezy if you haven't already. Like I said, you know, it's going to be a little, take a little time for they're in public, but if you want to take a peek at the private beta, uh, I'll put the email down below on the website if you want to get in touch with uh, John here. So John, again, thanks for reaching out. I'm really glad that you uh, emailed me and that we can make this happen. Uh, yeah, great. Yeah, yeah, very cool. All right, everybody. So we're going to sign off for now, uh, but go check out Reezy. And until next time, thanks for watching DAP University.